Ladies and gentlemen, the competitors of the second Invictus Games. With all the razzmatazz you would expect from the United States, the Invictus Games got underway in Orlando. More than 500 athletes from 14 countries are taking part. And Harry has a new aim this year, to help those with hidden wounds. It is not just physical injuries that our Invictus competitors have overcome. Every single one of them will have confronted tremendous emotional and mental challenges. When we give a standing ovation to the competitor, competitor with the missing limbs, let's also cheer our hearts out for the man who overcame anxiety so severe he couldn't even leave his house. These are the second Invictus Games. The first were held in London a year and a half ago. But in 2013, we filmed with Harry as he visited the Warrior Games in Colorado, a mini Paralympics for wounded American soldiers. Harry wanted a bigger and better multinational version, and it's fair to say the Americans have embraced Invictus. Once they take that uniform off, they're still looking for ways to serve, mm. and we can't waste that talent. These guys, once they were forced to leave the military, they, they, didn't, they didn't have any recognition as part of being part of a team mm -hmm. again. So actually wearing a uniform of sorts, to be able to wear your national flag again on your, on your left chest or on your left arm, is such a massive thing for these guys. Of course, with Harry's connections, he's been able to get some top draw help with promotion. Remember when you told us to bring it at the Invictus Games? Careful what you wish for. Boom. Oh, really? Please. Boom. And that just encouraged the Canadians. Boom! In fact, Canada will host the next Invictus Games, now seen as invaluable, both for changing attitudes and transforming lives. Simon Viger, 5 News.